please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel then click on the bell icon for notifications Money. Money. Sinachi Nwachuku was a famous Nigerian gospel singer, songwriter, and music minister whose angelic voice uplifts many souls. She was born on 12 November 1979 in Izoshi, Abia State, in the southeastern part of Nigeria, and died on 8 April 2022. She was 42 years old when she died. The Abuja-based gospel artist came into the limelight with the release of Ekweme, which is one of the best gospel songs of all time with commercial success. She also appeared as a feature artist on top-tier gospel singles such as Nara Ekele and You Know They Use Me Play. Osinachi Nwachuku passed away on the 8th of April 2022 after a health issue caused by injuries sustained from an assault of domestic violence. Osinachi Nwachuku was an Igbo woman who hailed from southeastern Nigeria. She was born as a twin on the 12th of November 1979. Her twin sister is Mrs. Amarachi Grace Eze. She has another sibling named Favor Maid. Her ancestral home is in Isochi town in Abia state. However, she spent her formative years residing in the coast city of Enugu state alongside with her family. She comes from a middle class background but her parents ensured that she didn't lack any good things while growing up. Osinachi Nwachuku grew up in a Christian household which helped foster a deep love for God in her heart. She loved attending church fellowship with other brethren as a teenager and was fond of singing worship and praise song in God's honor. She was mentored by Pastor A.K.A. Ogene who helped to grow her fear for God Almighty and the passion for working in the Lord's vineyard. She joined the church in her youthful days which helped her develop musically and in a couple of years she became one of the leading vocalists in her church. When Osinashi Nwachuku grew older and got married, she moved to Abuja, the federal capital territory of Nigeria. She then joined Dunamis International Church which is headed by Pastor Dr. Paul Enenche. The great man of God and general overseer of the church later became her spiritual father. Osinachi Nwachuku completed both her primary and secondary school education in Enugu Coast City of Enugu State where she attended public school. She graduated from high school in 1996 after scoring good grades in her senior secondary school certificate examination. After which she obtained her bachelor's degree from a leading university in the southeastern Nigeria and later completed her mandatory NYSE in 2009. As a member of Dunamis International Church, Osinachi Nwachuku was an active chorister and often led the congregation in worshipping and praising God during service. Although a chorister, Osinachi Nwachuku was also a thriving gospel musician Having discovered her musical gifts as a young teenager, she had taken to composing and recording gospel songs. Over the years, she released a couple of gospel songs with good numbers in the local market. Osinashi Mwachuku has been singing for decades, but no one recognized her. However, it was in 2017 that she became a national celebrity. Her fame came after she was featured by Prosper Oshimana on the hit song Ekweme. The single thrust Osinashi Nwachuku into the limelight in the Christian community as many believers love the song and listen to it often. 
Ekweme has become one of the top tier worship songs to ever be released in Nigeria. Later on, she was featured by her general overseer, Pastor Dr. Paul Enenshe, on the song Nare Kele. This single was successful in the Nigerian and global gospel music scene. This song brought more recognition to Osinashi Umashiku talent as a musician. She was also featured by singer Emma Onis on the song You Know They Use Me Play. Before her death, the gospel singer Osinashi Umashiku had a large number of fan base on her social media. She had over 100,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram. As a music evangelist, she was invited to minister gospel songs at denominational and interdenominational events in Nigeria and other countries. She preached the gospel of Christ through spirit-filled songs, and she was described as the country's most famous worship leader. People cry and get emotional to the tune of her voice, and her angelic voice does signs and wonders. Osinashi Uwachuku passed away in the hospital on the 8th of April 2022. Before her death, she was married to Mr. Peter Nwachuku, who is also a pastor. Their union had produced four children, three sons and a daughter. She resided with her family in a spacious and well-furnished house in Abuja city. At the time of her death, she was reported to have died from throat cancer. But recent reports have shown that she was a victim of domestic violence which might have led to a premature death. Close friends and family members have revealed that the late Oshinashi Umachuku was usually physically assaulted by her husband. The husband was also said to have inflicted emotional abuse on the deceased gospel singer. People close to Oshinashi Umachuku have accused her husband of being responsible for her death. This is because she has suffered various injuries from where he assaulted her. Even though she was uplifting souls with her songs, she was literally suffering abuse and domestic violence. She kept everything secret to the extent that she could not even tell her twin sister, her mother and her pastor that her husband is physically abusing her all the time. She kept everything secret and was praying in her heart that her husband would change one day. Nobody knows that she was going through hell in her marriage until her death and that was when news started flying all over and secrets that were hidden started coming out. As soon as the news hit the internet that a famous gospel musician was dead, there was outrage across different social media channels. Her husband, Mr. Peter Nwachuku, has been arrested by the police and the police have begun an investigation on the real cause of her death. Mr. Peter Nwachuku was taken into custody on 11th April 2022. Osinashi Nwachuku was 42 years old at the time of her death and is survived by four children, mother, siblings and husband. Before her death, her net worth was estimated at $200,000. While she was alive, she made money from the royalties generated from her discography and the fees she was paid for performing at events. Her YouTube channel was also raking in millions for her every month. After several autopsy, which was conducted on her lifeless body, it was confirmed that she was physically assaulted and abused on several occasions. Her mother also confessed that Osinachi husband denied her access to her daughter when she was still alive. Why Osinachi twin sister made a public statement alleging that Mr. Peter Umachuku was abusing her sister both physically, emotionally and mentally. Mr. Peter Umachuku is currently in police custody and will be arraigned before a competent court of jurisdiction where he will have the opportunity to defend himself and all the allegations leveled against him. If he is found guilty, then he will be charged for murder and may be sentenced to life imprisonment.